uh, integration using standard functions is the part one that we are going to learn today right uh, this standard functions one needs to know what are called standard functions right so if we go back to c3 uh, we have some uh, functions there uh, fx and f dash x we know e to the x natural log x sin x cos x tan sec cot I mean these are in your textbook c3 book so the these functions we call them as standard functions basically if you integrate these you're supposed to get those back right so those standard functions we will use to actually solve the integration sums uh, I have written those standard uh, functions here e to the x sine x cos x sec square cosec and cot cosec square sec and tan and last one is 1 over x which you get as natural log x okay so once you know how to use these standard functions we can derive the other ones later right so let's look at question number one we have exercise a question one uh, 2 sec square x uh, with respect to x integrate uh, sec square x we know integration of sec square x is tan x well so we simply write 2 tan x plus c that's all right that's a standard function 2 comes s s2 uh, don't integrate 2 please right that's a times sign the next one is here we have uh, 1 over cosec square and plus 5 over x dx now our aim is to actually get those standard functions we need to somehow change this into standard functions then we can apply the rules right uh, 1 over cos is sec right so 1 over cos square is sec square x so now that's a standard function right integration please plus let's write 5 over x is 5 over x this is actually 5 times 1 over x and 1 over x is a standard function now we are able to integrate those two terms right so the first one integration of sec square we just did, did that it's a tan x so let's write that as tan x uh, that's done and 5 is a 5 and 1 over x is natural log x right natural log x uh, modulus please right means uh, it can be plus or minus uh, so please understand try and change the given question into standard forms then we can apply the rule right uh, the next question is sin x over cos square x right let's see how to do this we don't this is not a standard function right standard function must look like one of those sin or cos sec square cosec square if not those two those two or that so maybe we have a fraction uh, denominator is a cos square so let's uh, split this the first few sums i will go slow right so if you split that we we will have a sine x divide by cos x right that's first one times it's times one like so it's a one over cos x if we write like that now sine over cos becomes a tan tan x right and times 1 over cos becomes sec x so we we are able to convert the given question into standard form so do we have a sec x tan x integration or not we will see uh, sec x tan x integration is sec x so that's the idea so inside the bracket dx please and the answer is uh, sec x and plus c of course the plus c comes for the last one as well okay uh, very important so change the given question into standard form and you can solve that uh, question number four that's uh, cosec three cosec theta cot theta plus five so that seems to be pretty straightforward because cosec times cot is a standard function uh, we have here 
You should write them at one place and keep, please. Cosec cot, if you integrate, you get minus cosec x. So that's all we do. Copy the 3 down and then say, well, that's a minus. The answer for that is minus. So let's put the minus outside. Minus 3, it's a cosec x, right? Plus, that is okay. Integration of 5 with respect to x is a 5x and plus c. Okay, done. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. The next question seems to be, it's not a straightforward question. We need to convert this into standard forms. So let's see how do we do that. Uh, fraction maybe, right? Let's split the fraction. 1 over cos square, let's write, write that. 1 over cos square x. That's nice. That becomes sec square and we can integrate plus sin x over cos square. That's how we split the fraction first. We have a cos square x there. Uh, inside the bracket, please, integration and dx. We did not integrate, okay? That's, that's very important to know. We didn't integrate. Uh, convert, uh, we, we changed them into standard form. That is a standard form. So that's a sec square x, watch, sec square x, plus this we can't do again. Right, we did we do the same kind of question here? Yes, we said sin x over cos square, we can split as sin over cos, 1 over cos, that becomes tan and sec. So, the same problem we do have here, which is sin x over cos square. So, let's write that, show the examiner the, the steps sin over cos x multiplied by 1 over cos, that's what we will write. We did integrate, okay? So, integration sign comes, bracket and dx. Now, we are going to integrate that. Uh, after the next step, please. So, that's a sec square x plus sine over cos is a tan, tan x and times 1 over cos is a sec x. Integration dx. After that, we are able to integrate. That's a standard form or standard function. That's a standard function. Now, integration of sec square theta, please. Check in your books, right? I told you, write them at one place, right? Sec square x is tan x. That's done. Plus, sec x tan x integration is simply sec x. Okay? Uh, plus c. So, we are able to integrate only when we change them into the standard functions. So, that's the part one that we are doing, right? I'll take one more question and we stop there, uh, then we may move to the next part. Uh, this one is, that's a standard function, that's a standard function because it's 3 times 1 over x, integration of 1 over x is natural log x, okay? Sine is also a standard function. So, all the three are in standard form, so we can directly integrate them. So, 5 is a 5, e to the power x, integration is e to the power x, plus 3 is a 3, 1 over x is natural log x, minus 4 is a 4, sin x is, understand, that's a minus cos x, integration of sin is minus cos x, so that minus becomes a plus, we get cos x, and plus c, okay? So, the question is already in standard form, so we can directly apply the rules. If, if it's not, we may have to just play around and change them into the standard form. Okay, that's the part one, right? Very important one, uh, standard functions based on. Uh, they are in C3 book, right? Write them at one, one place, very important. Uh, whatever the sum you, you see, uh, if it's not in standard form, change those tricks into the standard uh, functions. Okay, e to the power x also comes under standard uh, functions and uh, 1 over x as well. The second part we are doing now is based on reverse of the chain rule, chain rule from C3. Okay, let's see how we do that. Uh, now, it's a chain rule. So, we understood how to convert a given sum into standard function and integrate. Uh, I'm taking you through <clears throat> the chain rule from C3, uh, differentiation please, not integration, right? So, uh, <clears throat> I have the question here which, which says 
function x is sine 4x. You need to find f dash x. So we all know we did this in C3, right? Sine theta, that's a sine theta. So differentiation of sine theta is simply cos and theta, right? The theta, please understand, is 4x, right? Because it's not theta, we differentiate this. We get a 4 and we multiply by 4 in differentiation, right? So that's the gradient function of that. Function x, f dash x. Now, I'll give you the same question, sine 4x, and let's see how to integrate this. That's theta. Consider that to be theta. <coughs> uh, sine theta integration, it says standard of function, so we can integrate that. Sine theta integration is minus cos theta. So let's write minus cos theta. Watch that. That theta is actually 4x, isn't it? So we need to differentiate that. We get a 4. In differentiation, we multiply by 4. In integration, it's the reverse. So we divide by 4. All over 4, right? Or minus a quarter cos 4x and plus c. Now, do not cancel the 4 and 4. That's the angle and this is just a normal number. All right. So, just find, I mean, apply the same chain rule instead of multiplication, you divide, right? Let's see the second one, right? e to the 5x. Let's go slow. Uh, e to the something <coughs> is same as e to the same thing. It doesn't change, right, when you integrate or differentiate. Then, you differentiate the 5x. We get 5. So, divide by 5. Do not multiply by 5. If this was, if this was the differentiation, we should have said function x equals to e to the 5x, f dash x is equals to e to the 5x. We differentiate the 5x. We get 5. We multiply by 5. Right? There is no plus c, please. That's f dash x. In integration, instead of multiplying by 5, we divide by 5. All right. Uh, question four. First few sums, as I said, we do slow and then maybe we pick up the speed. Uh, sec square theta, watch there. The whole thing is theta. Now, do we know the integration of sec square? Is this a standard function? Yes, it is, right? Integration of sec square is tan. So we can say sec square theta is nothing but tan theta. So let's write tan and then that big theta which is a 5x plus 2 uh, inside the bracket. Because it's not theta, it's 5x plus 2, we differentiate it. The bracket only. We get a 5. We divide by 5. So it's a fifth tan 5x plus 2 plus c. Right? Reverse of the chain rule. Uh, four questions we have done. That's nice. Let's look at the next one which is a cos 5 minus 4x. Copy this and then try and solve and you check the answer later. <clears throat> so it's cos theta, right? Uh, integration of cos theta is simply sine theta and theta is nothing but 5 minus 4x. Uh, we close the bracket. We differentiate the bracket. We get a minus 4, right? Chain rule. So we divide by a minus 4. So it's a minus a quarter sine 5 minus 4x plus c, right? Uh, reverse of the chain rule, please. Uh, this one now is like 1 over x. We don't have a square or a cube, right? It's simply 1 over x. So 1 over x is natural log x. We know that, right? So that's simply ln x is nothing but the 2x plus 1. 1 over 2x plus 1 is natural log 2x plus 1 times you differentiate this first you get a 2 don't times by 2 you divide by 2 this is integration so that's the reverse of the chain rule okay plus c or k or m any letter number 7 uh, e to the power something as we said uh, we say e to the power same thing there's no change there 7x plus 9 uh, done you differentiate this then, right? We get a 7, you divide by 7, not multiply by 7, please, integration, and plus k. So, 
it's the reverse of the chain rule from uh, C3 chain rule you all know uh, simply instead of multiplication you divide let's look at question 8 you can copy that right uh, question 8 is cos x square theta watch there uh, is this a standard function let's say integration yes cos x square is minus cot x so all that we do we say minus cot theta theta is 6x you differentiate 6x you get a 6 divide by 6 right which is same as minus a sixth cot 6x do not cancel the sixes please right and plus c so reverse of the chain rule question number nine let's see that's nice we got a standard function here call it theta right sec theta times tan theta integration is sec x always keep those rules in front of you please sec x tan x is sec x that's all so we write sec theta the big theta which is 3x sec 3x we differentiate theta we get a 3 we divide by 3 very very important right plus c done uh, question number 10 <coughs> it's 2x plus 3 to the power 4 just a normal standard form right so something to the 4 is in integration we increase the power by 1 so it's a 4 plus 1 and divide by the same number 5 then it's not done right it's bracket you go and differentiate that you get a 2 so you divide by 2 okay so it's a 1 over 2 and 2x plus 3 to the 5 divide by 5 and the last step should look like you all know 2x plus 3 whole to the 5 and divide by 10 or a tenth of that okay uh, not bad these sums are okay uh, you need to solve lots and lots of examples to actually get used to this kind of sums right uh, textbook has lot, uh, lots of sums please try try them uh, 1 minus 3x to the minus 2 right same thing something to the minus 2 so we say 1 minus 3x to the minus 2 plus 1 which is minus 1 divide by minus 2 plus 1 that's minus 1 then differentiate the bracket you have a minus 3 so divide by minus 3 right so lastly the step now changes to 1 minus 3x to the minus 1 divide by minus minus is a plus that's a 3 uh, one third of that or if you want to remove the minus you can bring that to the denominator and plus k comes back okay uh, question 12 let's see cos theta sine theta there is a minus sign between them even if it's plus that's okay you can integrate both individually i would say uh, se separately okay uh, cos theta that's a theta please integration of cos theta sine theta so let's write sine 3x differentiate 3 divide by 3 minus integration of sine theta is minus cos theta okay and differentiate a 3 so divide by 3 so the step now changes as a one third uh, sine 3x and we have minus times minus a plus one third again and cos 3x plus c you can do that if, if you want to take one third common that's okay all right uh, the plus c is very important please to get one mark for that uh, if we lose that we may lose the marks uh, question 13 uh, two terms separate they are that's a standard function so we can do that that also is a standard function so it's e to the 5x watch and differentiate a 5 so divide by 5 minus bracket comes back 2 minus x increase the power that's a 5 divide by 5 but do not forget to differentiate the bracket so 2 minus x differentiation is minus 1 so you get a minus 1 at the bottom right uh, plus c so finally the the question now see the answer should look like a fifth e to the 5x minus times minus 
uh, plus a fifth there again and 2 minus x to the power 5 and plus c. So these are pretty basic ones one needs to practice a lot uh, so that we don't forget the reverse of the chain rule. I got just few more to go uh, then we may do trigonometric functions right. Uh, question 14 on the screen try right. Question 14 please uh, which is 3 minus 2x a whole, whole cube. Uh, this is now looks very easy to us right. 3 minus 2x uh, 3 plus 1 4. Divide by 4, yes. Then differentiate the bracket, which is a minus 2, so times by minus 2 in the denominator. So that's an eighth, you all know, minus an eighth and bracket to the power 4 plus c, done. This one, is it a standard function? There is a times sign, cos x square and cos. It's not a standard function, okay? Uh, if it's a plus sign between them or minus, cos x square integration we know, right? And cos integration we know. So be careful, it's not in standard function for format. So let's see what we can do. Cos x square is 1 over sine maybe, right? Right. 1 over sine square 5x multiplied by cos 5x. We do nothing cos 5x. Now, we did one, one question like cos theta divided by sine theta. I think it should be somewhere here. You can recollect that. Uh, that's what it is. If you see sine over cos square, we split that into two fractions. Then we change that into the standard form. Maybe we apply a similar rule here. So we got cos square, <coughs> uh, sorry, cos there and a sine square. That's over one split the fraction so I can say cos 5x divide by one of the signs take that and multiply by 1 divided by sine 5x so now maybe it might well there is integration integration sine dx there dx there bracket of course uh, cos over sine theta is, is same so cos over sine is cot right cot theta which is a 5x there times 1 over sine is cosec theta, cosec 5x, right? Some exam boards do not uh, ask uh, sec cosec cot. So if you are one of those exam boards, you don't need to solve this kind of sums, please. Um, right, that's integration bracket dx. Now, is this a standard form? We'll go and see. Cot cosec, yes. Cot cosec is a minus cosec. So that's all. The answer now is a minus cosec theta, which is a 5x, and it's not theta. So what we do, we differentiate it, we get a 5, divide by 5, please. So it's a fifth cosec 5x and plus c. That's how you apply the reverse of the chain rule and uh, include these standard functions in the question. Uh, just the two, last two, I want you to try, please. Uh, this is a common mistake that uh, students do in the exam. 5 over 3 minus 2x. They may say, right, it's a 5 and ln and 3 minus x to the power 4. Uh, ln comes only when there is no power or the power is 1. So be careful, right? So it's a 5. Take this bracket to the numerator. So it should be 3 minus 2x to the power minus 4 and integration sine dx okay then as usual uh, 5 is a 5 that's a standard function or a standard format so you can say bracket 3 minus 2x minus 4 plus 1 which will be a minus 3 <coughs> and divide by minus 3 don't forget that then 